well. Fancy seeing you here, officer. Do you recognize this woman? Yes. That's Catherine Barrows. Good friend of yours? I wouldn't quite say that. Of course not. You're far closer to Amy Fitzgerald, aren't you? And why does that matter? I don't believe it any kind of crime to prefer one person to another, whether they be engaged or not. What about Annie MacDonald? Annie? I haven't spoken to her in years. We were friends for a while in university. Eamon made you aware that he and Annie MacDonald were having a relationship, yeah? Eamon trusted me. He needed someone to talk to and I provided. Not until he called it off, though. It's not like I just let it happen. So you weren't jealous at all of this revelation? So, despite that, you didn't like Catherine, you still felt the need to tip her off about her husband's indiscretions. Ah, uh, yes. That makes perfect sense. I lose a friend and tear him away from the woman that he loves while I'm at it. I stood to gain a lot from that, didn't I? Well, I think you did. You're far smarter than just to tell her outright. She found out from Miss MacDonald herself. But Annie is adamant. She never told her. And you're able to take her word for it just like that? A woman who carelessly fucks her best friend's fiancé is suddenly a paragon of honesty, is she? There's more to it than that, Miss Tennant. We have evidence that Miss MacDonald's emails were hacked. It's funny, but when I look at everything as a whole, I can see how much you can gain. Catherine and Eamon breaking up will just push him closer to you. And you get some revenge on Annie by destroying the relationship between her and her best friend. Kill a couple of birds with the one stone. And maybe you did kill a couple of little birds. Catherine and Eamon stuck together. Maybe your little plan didn't work. So you decided to get rid of her yourself. All well and good, detective. Maybe I did have a bit to gain. If I was a psycho... But you'd need a real sociopath to think like that. And that just isn't me. I think I'm more like your average woman who'd rather not see their friend's spouse brutally murdered in front of their eyes. Beyond a bit of revenge, you can't seem to give me any good reason why I'd even bother. I like Eamon. But I'm not an obsessed schoolgirl following him around in between classes. So what would I really have to gain by hurting Catherine? But there's also Mary Bradford. Killed in exactly the same fashion. You were treating her for a long time. I even have a recording of you arguing with her son, the other victim. He threatened to report you for professional misconduct. Quite a threat to someone as invested in their career as you. Look, cast your accusations all you want. But I had nothing to do with these killings. Like you said... I'm far too smart for that sort of thing. Even if I did kill Catherine, Eamon was bound to find out eventually. 
As for Bradford, showing some frustration and an argument with a pig-headed, ignorant little man constitutes a bad day at the office. Not a motive for murder. And yes, I hated that old woman's guts. She was a pest. But look at my career. Do you really think I would sacrifice all of that for the sake of one patient? If you're looking to question someone, try her son. He seemed to hate her even more than I did.